guys. Well, tonight, uh, I'm not sure exactly when time I can fit it in, but there will be a Skype call uh, this evening, and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, healing or teaching you guys how to heal or heal yourselves uh, for a few minutes. It'll kind of be a shorter, more impromptu session of kind of one of the things that we'll be doing on the website in more detail. But we'll be doing that tonight. I also am going to have Stephanie uh, tape m me talking so that I can put it up on my uh, site for those of you that can't be there. But it'll go easier if there are people there for me to uh, read at the same time that I'm doing it. Okay, so in conjunction with that, what I've noticed is the, the beings that are still here that are struggling a lot of the star seeds there's a big disconnect i think i've said this in one of my previous videos there's a big disconnect between the energy consciousness of your human bodies and that of your star seed self there's a big gap between those two and uh i've talked about it with tara and we called it the bully and the artist i don't want to be derogatory about the the body but most of the time the body consciousness is a lot tougher than the star seeds consciousness because it's had to survive here on 3d planet earth with a star seed soul so it's been kind of a tough life uh star seeds aren't as good as at creating uh creating as they're not as good at creating so if they go down if they start off on a bad path like they're traumatized they tend to stay on that and it's hard to get off so there's a big disconnect between those two consciousnesses well healing your human body in order to heal your human body you must be connected to that human consciousness you have to be able to communicate with it and listen and listening is the key so we've got to bring those two sides together now like I said in one video that uh, in a relationship the best relationship a starseed can have is a long-term human heading to 5d who's spiritually aware heading to 5d because the uh, they can both help each other. Well, this is also true inside your own body, because uh, those of you have, have who have tough human consciousnesses, who have dealt with a lot of trauma and a lot of pain, uh, that human body is really, really aware of the uh, third dimensional, even lower fourth, fourth dimensional vibrations, but they're not very aware or able to use the higher vibrations. Your star seed self will be able to, to uh, handle the higher vibrations, but is not very good at dealing with the lower vibrations. So like a lot of things that we'll be doing as we head to 5D, we're going to bring those two together. We're going to merge the two of them together. We're going to uh, make that body consciousness and that star seed consciousness, consciousness become one. And you're going to do that by listening to your body. I did a, a, a video not too long ago on vibrational uh, eating, and that's listening to your body. And you want to listen to your body, but you can't let the ego part of that rule what you're doing, okay? Because the ego has collected a lot of data and will want to keep you safe. It will not want you to move forward into a new arena or doing something different whereas the starseed self will know that doing something different all the time is what we normally do that's what you'll be doing in 5d so it will want to do that all the time and your body will want to stay safe in a safe environment so you've got to do a lot of give and taking in these two regards to get you both to 5d so there has to be uh, some cooperation some give and take in as you merge together so that both sides can be as happy as possible. Okay? But the body and the ego, you're going to have to tamper down that ego and your starseed self is going to have to assure the body that we got this. Explain the whole creator God over and over and over because the ego and the body consciousness will not comprehend it or understand it right at the beginning so you need to repeat that we're creator gods in a human form a lot you'll have to explain that there's different consciousnesses different levels you're going to have to prove to your body that so that it can trust you 
It can trust you. And a good way of doing that is to vibrationally eat so that you're not in this rigid pathway. Not even the ego is is winning that one, but that you are totally eating in response to what your physical body needs. Okay? So I wanted to do this video to let people know that that's what we're going to be dealing with when it comes to healing the body. We're going to be listening to what the body is telling you. Now, if you don't know what, um, I think it's reflexology, which is your body, um, the muscles in your body will let you know when something matches it or if it's going to interact with your life in a positive way, it will uh, react to that with stronger muscle reflex. Now, I don't know if you've heard of doing this with your hand and having somebody push down on it. So say, okay, should I eat this hamburger would be the question. Have somebody push down on your arm, and if they can't get your arm to down, that means yes. If your arm goes down easily, that means no, you should not have that hamburger right in front of you or that salad, okay? Well, you can use that kind of, you know, just put YouTube reflexology tests by yourself, and you can come up with ways of testing whether or not the answer is yes or no. At the beginning, that's what you're going to ask. You're going to ask yes, no questions. Well, before we do tonight, if you're planning on coming, just pull up YouTube and see and, and get yourself a way that you can check yes, no questions for your body. Just in case you can't feel them well enough for what I'm saying, that way you can test yourself for yes, no questions when we're doing the healing um class, whatever, experiment, whatever you want to call it. Whenever we do that tonight, then you can uh, uh, ask your body and be in touch with your body until you can feel the answers a little bit better. Okay? So, go check on this reflexology. I'll see if I can find one and put a link to it down below. That might help too. Okay? All right, guys. Huge hugs. I love you bunches, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.